Second Samuel chapter 24. And again, the displeasure of Yah burned against Israel and moved Dawid against them to say, Go number Israel and Yehuda. And the sovereign said to Yoab, the commander of the army who was with him, Go please throughout all the tribes of Israel from Dan to Beersheba and register the people so that I know the number of the people. And Yoab said to the sovereign, Even if Yah your power does add to the people a hundredfold more than they are, in the eyes of my master the sovereign see it. But why does my master the sovereign delight in this matter? However, the sovereign's word was strong towards Yoab and against the commanders of the army. And Yoab and the commanders of the army went out from the presence of the sovereign to register the people of Israel. And they passed over the Yarden and camped in Aroer, on the right side of the town, which is in the midst of the wadi of Gad, toward Yazer. Then they came to Gilad, into the land of Tatim Hoshi, and they came to Dan Ya'an around to Sidon. And they came to the stronghold of Sor, and to all the cities of the Hivites and the Canaanites, and went out to south Yehuda as far as Beersheba. And when they had gone through all the land, they came to Yerushalayim at the end of nine new moons and twenty days. And Yoab gave the number of the registration of the people to the sovereign. And there were in Israel eight hundred thousand brave men who drew the sword. And the men of Yehuda were five hundred thousand men. And the heart of Dawid struck him after he had numbered the people. And Dawid said to Yah, I have sinned greatly in what I have done. But now I pray, O Yah, take away the crookedness of your servant, for I have done very foolishly. And Dawid rose up in the morning, and the word of Yah came to the prophet Gad, Dawid seer, saying, Go, and you shall speak to Dawid, thus said Yah. I hold three options before you. Choose one of them, and I do it to you. And Gad then came to Dawid and informed him, and he said to him, Should seven years of scarcity of food come to you in your land? Or would you flee three new moons before your enemies while they pursue you? Or should there be three days plague in your land? Now know and see what answer I take back to him who sent me. And Dawid said to Gad, I am in great trouble. Please let us fall into the hand of Yah, for his compassion is great. But do not let me fall into the hand of man. And Yah sent a plague upon Israel from the morning until the appointed time. And from Dan to Beersheba, 70,000 men of the people died. And the messenger stretched out his hand over Yerushalayim to destroy it. And Yah relented concerning the evil and said to the messenger who was destroying the people, It is enough, now stop your hand. And the messenger of Yah was by the threshing floor of Aronah, the Yebusite. And Dawid spoke to Yah when he saw the messenger who was striking the people and said, See, I have sinned and I have done perversely. But these sheep, what have they done? Let your hand, I pray, be against me and my father's house. And Gad came that day to Dawid and said to him, Go up, raise a slaughter place to Yah on the threshing floor of Amwana, the Yebusite. And Dawid, according to the word of Gad, went up as Yah commanded. And Arwana looked and saw the sovereign and his servants coming toward him. And Arwana went out and bowed before the sovereign with his face to the ground. And Arwana said, Why has my master the sovereign come to his servant? And Dawi said, To buy the threshing floor from you, to build a sort of place to Yah, so that the plague be withdrawn from the people. And Arwana said to Dawi, let my master the sovereign take and offer that which seems good to him. Here are cattle for ascending offering, and threshing implements, and the yokes of the cattle for wood. All these, O sovereign, Arana has given to the sovereign. And Arana said to the sovereign, Yah, your power accept you. And the sovereign said to Arana, No, let me buy it from you for a price, for certain. I am not offering ascendant offerings to Yah, my power without cost. So Dawi brought the threshing floor and the cattle for fifty shekels of silver. And Dawi built a slaughter place to Yah there and offered ascendant offerings and peace offerings. And Yah answered the prayers for the land 
and the plague was withdrawn from Israel.